Welcome to our short introduction for our SDK, the Sky SDK. Today I want to show you how easy it is to integrate Sky right into your application. It's very, very easy. Um, just um, you need to look for our com component. Let's see here. Let's choose the Sky menu 6. Here it is. It's the most comfortable way to use it and to integrate it. And now let's, let's place the component uh, on our form. Here we are. Yeah, move it a little bit and uh, let's give him a good name. Let's call it Sky. It makes it more readable later and um, a good size. A good size is uh, 344 in width and uh, 460 in, uh, in height. Here we are. And yeah, everything on the form. Good, great. Now we can uh, Oh, now we can start to implement it. So go to the form load event. Now um, first we are uh, setting an application name. That's very good. And we are then we are able to manage the uh, the user settings uh, automatically for you. So if you restart the application with the same application name, we load the same settings than the user had before he left last time. Here we are. And now we have to initialize it. So init camera X. Now we have to give him a license, license name, license number. Well, you can get the license right from us. Um, you just need to register yourself and, uh, and that's it. Um, and the standard license is free of charge. So um, very easy. And um, yeah, let's set an animation. It's, uh, it looks good later when we're making a snapshot. We are placing it here, set animation. 4.1 yeah and sky show menu then you can use the built-in menu of the OCX no need for an own user interface and on the form close event we have to call exit control to terminate it properly okay well that's it five lines of code let's press the play button and see how it is so here we are the OCX is live here you see a document we can Maybe move it a little bit around and uh, you see everything is live and we can change uh, some settings. Let's uh, go to grayscale and you see the previous grayscale or black and white and it's black and white. The DPI resolution and some filters. You can choose some filters and you can switch the laser on and off and light and you can also enable automatic cropping. Here you see we detect the document easily. And uh, we can also make a manual selection here with the mouse or clicking on it and the auto cropping is on again. Very easy, very fixed, very, very smooth. And when you stop it and you start it again, then it will start with the same settings which you had as you left the application. Everything on black and white, 300 dpi, auto cropping and so on. Yeah, very easy. That was the first step. Okay, so now step two. We want to make a snapshot, right? We want to scan. So let's place a button at a form. Okay, let's give them a good name. Let's give them a text. Scan button, what else? ET scan. All right, and double click. Then we can. We can code here and implement it. Um, let's make us two, two strings, file extension. Let's start with GPEG and want to have a default target, which should be the user desktop, also string. Okay, yeah, we have to initialize user desktop that it has the right value, so my computer dot file system special directories mm, desktop okay here we are so that is just um, around implementing now we come to the get frame sync just one line of code that's the file name we want to have on the user desktop we want to have the file Let's call it sky 
scan and here the extension the file extension okay that's it so that's all we need let's press the play button and here we are pressing the scan button you see a short animation at the, at the lower part of the image and then rotated cropped animation and that's it we can open the snapshot to have a look at it and here we are that's the scan in color let's go to grayscale make the scan again scanning takes a second post processing another one to one and two seconds and then here we have it in grayscale very easy all right okay now we want to scan it also in uh, in black and white for that i have uh, i'm grabbing an event from the sky ocx here we have the uh, the event and here i switch to another file extension and uh, when we are going to black and white then we have the tiff file extension now we have made a snapshot in black and white with the right extension and here it is black and white grayscale again make a scan and then we are replacing the already existing file the gpeg and here it is in grayscale here we are color again same file extension and color well, I think you can imagine how easy it is to integrate it and now we can make snapshots. Okay, ready for step three, the contrast slider. We really, we really recommend the contrast slider. Well, because the documents are different and light situations are changing. So yeah, you should, uh, you should use a contrast slider and uh, let's see. Yeah, here we have the track bar. We place it at the form. Oh, I think under the sky of six is a good place. And we support 100 steps of the track bar, 100 contrast steps. My name and um, maximum number 100. Okay. That's it. So let's combine it with the OCX. I will have the value change event, it's better than the scroll event. And now sky. Set contrast. And now we can use the value of the track bar. Okay, that's it, here we go. Press the play button and we have the track bar and when we move the slider, the contrast is changing also. And that's good for grayscale too and it works in black and white too. So the user can easily choose the right contrast and uh, yeah, gets exactly what he wants. So now it's time for something new. Let's work with different scan profiles, something which is very important for context scanning. I have prepared here the, the buttons, one button for passport scan and one button to scan a receipt. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to work in a, in a specific context and you already know what you want to scan, then it is uh, it might, might be a good idea to choose the scan settings for yourself instead of uh, letting the user do that, um, because the user can do it in the wrong way. And when you do exactly when you exactly know what you want to know what you want to get, you can choose you can choose it for yourself. So here 
I'm setting the basic settings, the color mode, the DPI, an additional parameter for the JPEG compression, and then get last from X. That is making the snapshot. So let's give him a name. Again, on the user desktop, passport.jpg. All right, and yeah, when we want to scan a, a receipt, then uh, we want to have it in black and white. So color mode three. Well, 300 dpi is good. Choose that too, and yeah. We don't need some additional parameters, that's all we need. So, get last from X, user desktop, and let's call it receipt.tiff. It's a black and white, so it should have the extension TIFF. And yeah, that's it. Here we are. Pressing the play, spot, play button, and now let's place the passport on the camera. And even if the preview is black and white, the snapshot will be in color. That's exactly what I want to show you here. Have a look at it. Here, the scan in color. Even if the preview is in black and white. And now received. So, well, let's go to the color preview. Because then we can prove that the scan is in black and white. That's what we want. So here comes the scan. Again, the important thing here is that the scan is independent from the preview. That's what we want. So, okay, now last step, step five. I want to show you how to use an event. And I want to show you the event live stream on and live stream off. That indicates whether the sky is giving you a preview image or not. And I'm using that now to enable and to disable the scan buttons. Because when we don't have a preview, then we don't uh, have the possibility to scan. And if we don't have the possibility to scan, we don't want the user to press the scan button. So we are setting enabled to false. And when the live stream on event comes, we want to have it, of course, on true again. So that's it. Play button. Here we are. You see the preview image is here. The buttons are active. Now I'm closing the lid of the camera and the buttons are disabled. And as soon as I open the arm of the camera again, everything is ready and the scan buttons are active too. So that's it. That's what I want to show you today. As you see, just a few lines of code and you have it um, ready to run. Preview is working. Exit control, don't forget that. To close it properly. And basically one line of code to make a snapshot. Very easy. And I think we could present you here that it is done within a few minutes to integrate Sky right into your application. And there, are, of course, are a lot of more options than these, but uh, I think everything else is documented on our website and you can find out uh, for your own. All right. Thanks for your patience and your time. Bye.